Hello everybody, I am Balji Thakka from Pinnacle Coaching Center and today we are going to discuss paper code 709. This is part 2, part 1 we have already discussed. As you know this is test series, tire to test series and in that test series we have 80 full length tests, 40 math and 40 English and each and every question of each test we will cover through and in fact we are covering through video lectures. So question number 26. In this presentation we will discuss part 2 and part 2 will contain question from question number 26 to question number 50. So question number 26 is if in a triangle ABC BE and CF are two medians perpendicular to each other and if AB is 19 and AC is 22 centimeter then length of the BC would be this is the triangle in fact which is given ABC and CF CF and BE these are perpendicular to each other you can see this is 90 degree this is 90 degree we have to find the length of BC now if you find this kind of expression then AB square plus AC square is equal to 5 BC square. This important trick you must know. This important short trick you must know. If you know this, then AB is 19 and AC is 22, then BC would be equal to AB square that is 19 into 19 plus AC square that is 22 into 22. And that should be equal to 5 BC square. That should be equal to 361 and 484. In other words, 845. And if I divide by 5, then it should be equal to BC square. That is 169 and BC would be equal to 13. BC square is 169, that is square of a 13 and it should be equal to 13. So this important thing you must know. If you don't know then you have to <coughs> how, uh, how can we drive this? Then we have to drive how can we drive this that 5 BC square it would be equal to ABC square AC square and is equal to 5 BC square. Now see let's say this is O. OB square here you will find OB square because if this is 90, because this, these are perpendicular to each other, these are perpendicular to each other. So this would be equal to 90 and this is also 90. So O B square plus O A square is equal to 19 square. So, or you can say A B square. And again O A square is equal to O C square and that is equal to 22 square because of the Pythagoras tablet because this is 90 degree then OB square this is OA square and O square if we add both if we add both then we will get here OB square plus OC square is equal to 2 OA square and that is 90 square plus 22 square and OB square here and OC square which is equal to BC square. So you can in place of this you can write because this is 90 degree you can write here BC square. BC square plus 2 OA square this is OA and this is centroid. So the ratio of centroid, the centroid will divide the median into two is to one part. So if this is two then this would be equal, equal to one. So you can write here OB OB in place of that you can write 2 and OA is equal to 2 OB 2 OB in other words you can write here BC square plus plus 8 OB square because 2 power 2 that is 8 no, 4 and 4 into 2 that is 8 OB square at OB square and this OB square this OB square is equal to if you want to take let's say this is D 
this is equal to BD. Why BD? Let's see. Let's see from this semicircle concept. And as you know, this is 90 degree. If this is 90 degree and this is median, this is median of this triangle, then this is equal to this and this is equal to this. So if it is OA, then it, it would be equal to OA. Why? Because radius are equal. So similarly, OA, OA and OA, you can write like this. Sorry, OB, you can write OB, OB and OB. In other words, this is equal to BD square or 8 OB square is equal to 4 BC square because this is equal to this. If it is 8 BD square, then it should be equal to 4 BC square. So I can write here BC square plus 4 BC square. That is equal to 5 BC square. 5 BC square. So 5 BC square we have written like this. 19 square plus 22 square is equal to 5 BC square. So we have here we have proved. But you have to memorize this. You have to learn this. You must know this important trick in this question. You can note down if you don't know. Next question, question number. 27. Now the question is the distance between the center of two circle of radius 6 cm and 3 cm is 15. The length of the transverse common tangent, transverse common tangent, this is the question, this is transverse common tangent. We have to find and length is given, distance is given that is 15 cm, 15 cm from, from these two points. So what is the formula? Else is equal to d square minus r1 plus r2 and square here d square is given here d square is given 15 so 15 into 15 that is 20, 225 minus 6 plus 3 3 that is 9 so 9 into 9 81 difference would be equal to 144 root of 144 is equal to 12 so answer should be b this is an important trick formula you must learn this is the length of the transverse common tangent and this is d distance between these two points these two centers r1 first radius and r2 second radius if it would have been direct common tangent then the symbol would have been the sign would have been minus question number 28 a cube of s 6 cm is painted on all the sides and then cut into unit cubes. The number of unit cubes with no side painted is. Now see, 6 cm. This is cube. And 1 cm from all sides. It means you can say, if this is total 6, then it would be 4, 4 and everywhere, every side there will be 4. It means the inside cube which has 4 unit, 4 cm as dimension 4, length, breadth, height you can say, that will contain, that will contain the volume you can say and the number of, because we have to find the number of cube which has 1 unit, 1 unit dimension, so 1 into 1 into 1. See the question, a cube as 6 cm is painted on all the sides and then cut into unit cubes means 1 into 1 into 1. The number of unit cubes with no side painted and we have removed 1 cm from both sides because then there will be no painted inside that. So 4 into 4 into 4 that is 64 will be the number of a cube that will be without any painting. Question number 29. If tangent A plus sin a is equal to p then tangent a minus sin a is equal to q there are two methods to solve this kind of question one is by putting value let's say here put value a is equal to 30 degree sin then 30 would be equal to 1 by 2 we will find the value of p and similarly we will find the value of q so from the option c which can be the correct explanation means justifying the correct Second thing is that you can put here p square. Put p square would be equal to squaring both side we will have sine square and plus 2 tangent square and sine square a. And here let's say q, q square. 
कि उस केयर इज इक्वल टू टेंजेंट स्केयर प्लस साइन स्केयर एंड माइनस टू टेंजेंट ए साइन ए साइन स्केयर साइन ए सॉरी इफ आई हैव फॉर एग्जाम्पल पी स्क्र माइनस क्यू स्केयर देन इट विल बी इक्वल टू पी स्क्र माइनस क्यू स्केयर बिकॉज इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेज इट इज गिवन पी स्क्र माइनस क्यू स्केयर विच शुड बी इक्वल टू माइनस देन इट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस एंड देन इट वुड बी प्लस सो इट विल कैंसल एंड दैट वुड बी इक्वल टू फोर फोर टेंजेंट स्क्र ए एंड साइन स्क्र ए विच इज इक्वल टू पी स्क्र माइनस क्यू स्क्र now see in the terms of p and q because these are two variables p q and p square minus q square so p q would be equal to let's multiply this p q that should be equal to tangent a plus sin a and tangent a minus sin a that should be equal to tangent a square tangent square a and sin square a tangent square a and sin square a now see from this tangent square a and minus sin square uh, sin square a now convert it uh, into sin cos format let's say that uh, you can write here sin square a divided by cos square a and then minus now this is equal to this is not uh, in fact square this is equal to Two tangent. This is not square. Two and two. That is four tangent and sine a. Tangent and sine a. And here you can say tangent square theta minus. Then you will have sine square theta and cos cos square theta. You can take here common sine square. Then we will have one minus cos square theta. And one minus cos square theta is equal to sine square theta. Divided by cos square theta, that is equal to tangent theta. So tangent square a and sine square a is equal to PQ, and PQ root would be equal to tangent theta and sine theta. You can say tangent a and sine a, tangent a and sine a. So, so you can here put a for PQ is equal to P square minus Q square. So this is the answer. P square minus P Q, C should be the answer. No, sorry, B should be the answer because this is four. Otherwise, what could have done? That would have been, I think, easy. Tangent A put value here thirty degree, and here also thirty degree. You will find answer in a better and easy way. Or you want to solve properly, then you can solve like this. It is up to you if you are comfortable in this. Question number thirty-two. Men are on the opposite side of tower. They measure the angle of elevation of the top of the tower, forty-five and thirty. This is tower. Two person. One is forty-five, and another is thirty degree. H is the tower. If the height of the tower is forty, H is equal to forty. Find the distance between these two men. We have to find the value of this. So this is H. So it should be also equal to H because tangent forty-five. If this is, for example, a, this is a, then h by a is equal to tangent of 45. That is one. So h is equal to a. It means you can directly here put h. Let's say this is x. h by x, h by x is equal to tangent 30. That is one by root three. So h is equal to. You can say x is equal to. X is equal to root three h. Root three h. So root three h is this. Total distance would be root three h and h. You can say this is equal to h root three plus one. H we have already given that is forty. So forty, forty, and one point seven, one point seven three two plus one. That is two point seven. You can write here two point seven something and into forty. It should be equal to one zero. Nine something. Answer is D. Answer is D. The next question, question number thirty-one. In this question, it is given what is the value of five sine seventy-five sine seventy-seven two cos thirteen cos fifteen like this? We have given. Now see from this expression. First of all, solve this seven. 
this is sin 81 that should be equal to cos 9 so cos 9 by cos 9 that would be equal to it will cancel and it should be minus 7 now solve this 5 7 you can write here sin 75 that should be equal to cos 5 cos 15 and sin 77 plus 2 cos 13 and cos 15 cos 13 is equal to sin 77 and cos 15 you can write directly 15 so that should be equal to 5 cos 15 sin 77 divided by cos 15 and sin 77 you can cancel to this so that should be equal to this is 5 and 2 sorry this is 5 and this is 2 because the common here is common here is this so 5 plus 2 you can write here 7 so 7 minus 7 that should be equal to 0 answer is b question number 32 the product of two number is 24 24 times the difference of these two number if the sum of these two number is 14 then largest number would be how much largest number would be how much such kind of question you should always solve through option technique largest number let's take this is largest then smallest would be then other number would be 14 minus 9 that is 5 9 and 5 number these are two the product of these two number is 9 into 5 that is 45 difference of these two number difference that is 4 so this is not possible let's say second option if this is 8 then second would be 6 8 and 6 these are two number product of these two number is 8 into 6 this is product that is 48 is 24 times the difference of these two number difference is 2 2 and is it 24 times yes product is 24 times of okay? this number so this is satisfying all equation answer is b answer should be b such kind of question you should try to solve like this if a is equal to 4.96 b is equal to 2.34 and c is equal to 2.62 then a cube minus b3 minus c3 minus 3 abc is equal to how much now this is very clear from here a3 minus b3 minus c3 minus 3 abc this is possible when we have a plus b plus c is equal to 0 this is if this is the expression then we will have a3 plus b3 plus c3 minus 3 into a into b into c that is equal to 0 why because when a plus b plus c in this format is 0 then we will have entire expression to the right side 0 now this is the exactly which is given this is exactly which is given so that should be equal to 4.96 minus 2.34 minus 2.62 in this format it will have 0 it will have 0 so this entire expression will be equal to 0 answer is b next question question number 34 if y is equal to x plus 1 by x then x4 plus x3 minus 4 x2 plus x plus 1 is equal to how let's say x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 then it would be y would be equal to 2 because 1 plus 1 2 now x we have put 1 value we have put value 1 so 1 plus 1 minus 4 plus 1 plus 1 that should be equal that that is equal to 0 so this is true that x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2 so there is no need to further calculate just you can put value in the option you can put value in the option let's see x square this is not possible because nothing is given in this x square x is 1 y that is we have uh, found 2 2 into 2 that is 4 4 plus 2 minus 4 is equal to 0 this is not possible let us say third x square that is 1 2 4 4 plus 2 minus 6 is equal to 0 4 plus 2 6 6 minus 6 0 so this entire expression would be 0 c is the answer c is the answer by putting value we can find easily next question question number 35 a man takes 15 minutes to walk along the diagonal of a square field at the rate of 2 km per hour 
area of the village. So question is given, a man take 15 minutes to walk along the square. This is square. And the speed is 2 km per hour. In other words, 2000, 2000 meter in 60 minutes. In 15 minutes, in 15 minutes, it will be 500 meter. So the person has traveled, person has traveled 500 meter distance in 15 second. Question is area of the field. So this is 500 meter. It means we know the diagonal. So what is the area? 1 by 2 d square and d is given 500. So area is equal to this. This is the area of square and that should be equal to 250 into 500. That is 12, 125 and 30. 125 and 30. B should be the answer. Next question, question number 36. If the side of a triangle are 8, 15 and 17 respectively, find its area. Very easy question. 8, 15 and 17. This is triple 8, 5 thousand triple 8. 1 by 2, 15 into 8. 16, 60 should be the answer is 8. Next question, question number 37. The length of a rectangle is increased by 25%. By what percentage should the width be decreased so that the area of rectangle decreases by 20%? area of the triangle so x minus y minus xy by 100 this is the successive percentage technique to solve such kind of question and that should be equal to 20 percent that should be equal to 20 so here it is given 25 percent by what percent the width be given we have to find the value of here that should become by 100 so that should be now put from the option which can be the correct if I put here 30, then we will have 25 minus 30 minus minus 30 by 4. 30 by 4 would be it will go into fraction though this is can this cannot be possible. Now let's see this. Let's see this 25 minus 35, 36 minus 36 minus so 1 by 4 that is 9. X by 4 that is 9. So 36 minus 9 that is 45, 25 minus 45 that is minus 20 and we are also asking minus 20 that is 20 percent decrease. So from the option we can easily find that A is the answer and take option root and use this trick. This is successive percentage technique and highly useful. One angle of a hexagon is 100 degree and all other five angle are equal. What is the measure of each one of the equal angle? Each one of the equal angle. Now there are five angles remaining. So five angle remaining total hexagonal as we know 120 is the interior angle. 120 is the interior angle and total is 720. One angle is already given that is 100. So other would be 620 and other are 5 so it should be equal to 124 c should be the answer 39 ps is the diameter of the circle of radius 6 centimeter this is radius 6 centimeter and diameter is ps so r is equal to 6 in the diameter ps q and r are the two points as that q and r pq this is pq qr and rs these are equal all are equal semicircle are drawn on pq this is pq and qs qs this is the diameter then the parameter of the shaded region we have to find the value of this portion that is this parameter this line and this line plus this line so that should be equal this is total 6 centimeter radius then total would be 12 you can say 4 4 and 4 so radius would be here 2 centimeter so let's say this value of this 2 this would be equal to pi r because the entire circle is 2 pi r then semicircle uh, parameter would be pi r so 22 by 7 r we have given here 2 2 because 4 is the total diameter so r would be 2 in the second case let's say this here this is radius is 4 
so 22 by 22 pi r pi is equal to 22 by 7 and r which is 4 and this portion radius is total 6 22 by 7 into 6 so you can say 22 we can 2 by 7 we can take common then 4 plus 2 6 plus 6 12 and that should be equal to 264 by 7 264 by 7 37 plus 5 by 7 should be the answer this should be the answer 264 divided by 7 we have added the semi parameter of all these circle now the next question question number 40 ratio of the interior angle to the exterior angle of regular polygon is 7 is to 2 the number of side of the polygon would be interior angle is always greater than exterior angle in polygon and the ratio is 7 is to 2 you can say 7x plus 2x that is 9x is equal to 180 because in polygon exterior angle and exterior angle always equal to 180 x is equal to 20 so th this is equal to uh, you can say exterior angle is exterior angle is 40 exterior angle number of side would be equal to 360 divided by exterior angle that should be equal to 9 so 9 should be the side number of answer is b question number 41 if a plus theta is equal to 7 by 7 pi by 12 and tangent theta is equal to root 3 then the value of tangent a now tangent theta is equal to root 3 so here you can write theta which is equal to 60 degree because tangent theta is root 3 so a plus 60 is equal to 7 into 180 because pi, and pi is equal to 180 divided by 12 that should be equal to 100 a plus 60 degree is equal to 105 a is equal to 105 minus 60 that is 45 and tangent a 45 is equal to 1 answer is d tangent 45 is equal to 1 question number 42 a four digit number is formed by repeating a two digit number such that such that 25 25 32 34 etc any number of this form is always exactly divisible by now this would be always divided by 101 because 25 by multiply 25 25 and 25 this is the number 101 32 32 and 32 so this is the number when we will multiply 32 then we will get 32 32 or in other words you can say when we will divide it by 101 we will get this number so 101 should be the answer here we have 11 7 13 but this should be the answer because this is smallest three digit in fact this is prime number smallest three digit prime number is the answer answer is d question number 43 if 30 percent of a of b minus a is equal to 18 percent of b plus a so 30 by 100 and b minus a 18 by 100 is equal to b plus a one question of this type is 100 percent sure in the exam so 5b minus 5a is equal to 2b and plus 2a now this should be equal to 5 plus uh, minus 2b that is 3b and should be equal to 5 plus 2 that is 7a we have to find the value of a is to b a is to b would be equal to 3 by 7 now what is the question so this is 3 6 into 3 this is 3 so that should be equal to 3 and 3a 3a here we will find 5 minus 3b that is 2 2b 2b minus here you will find 8a a and a by b would be equal to 1 by 4 if a is equal to 1 b would be 4 answer should be b the next question question number 44 if one root of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 
is zero is this is the quadratic equation and one root is three times the of the other root find the relationship between a b c very very important question and you must know about this question intricacy about this question one root is given let's say one first root is alpha other is beta one root is equal to alpha is equal to three times the other three times the other question number 44 and in this question it is given if one root of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is three times the other find the relationship between a b and c so if you find such kind of question there is one formula you must know there are some uh, let's say one root is alpha and other root is beta so alpha and beta sum is always equal to minus b and a and second is alpha into beta is always in lower class you must have must have remember this formula if you do not remember then you must know about this formula how in later stage we will also drive how to how will you find but in the exam point of view you have to memorize it these are important so one root of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is three times let's say if one is alpha then other would be three times other would be you can say three beta three beta or here you can write alpha is equal to 3 beta then 4 beta would be equal to 4 beta would be equal to minus b by a in other words beta you can write minus b 4 by a you can write this now now if i divide divide this by beta then we will have value of alpha if i divide by beta then we will have alpha in other words you can write here alpha by divided by beta then c by a would be equal to would be equal to minus b and 4a minus b 4a that should be equal to 4c divided by minus b which is equal to alpha and then alpha would be you can write here alpha would be equal to 4c minus b like this you can write now as you know 3 bit 3 beta that would be equal to if beta is you can write here minus 3b minus 3b here you can write minus 3b by 4a and that is this is equal to 3b alpha and we know value of alpha which is 4c minus b which is equal to alpha because this is equal to alpha is equal to 3b b, uh, beta which is equal to this now from the this expression you can write 3b square is equal to 4 uh, 16ac 16ac 3b square 16ac this is the answer because we have to drive the relationship between b and a b c so this would be equal to 3b square is equal to 16ac a should be the answer now how we uh, how we arrived at alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and alpha into b is equal to c by a this you have to remember right but let's see how we can drive it now see let's see assume any quadratic equation that's let's say 5x square that is 12x 4 is equal to 0 this is quadratic equation you can write this expression 5 into 4 that is 20 so 5x square plus 10x plus 2x and plus 4 you can write this expression in this format let's take common 5x x plus 2 and 2x plus 2 This is equal to zero. So five x plus two and x plus two. 
x is equal to minus 2 by 5 and x is equal to minus 2 there are these are two roots now these are two value of x these are two value of x now see from the first equation first uh, alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a minus b by a let's see this is possible or not plus minus 2 by 5 minus 2 that should be equal to my 5 and minus 10 minus 12 by 5 minus 12 by 5 and in this case this is equal to this is equal to and this you can say in other words minus b by a which is equal to alpha plus beta so we have proved one formula we have proved one formula and other formula which is x alpha into beta alpha into beta and that is equal to it means this is alpha beta so that should be equal to alpha into beta alpha into beta and that should be equal to you can say minus 2 by 5 into minus 2 this is one root and another then we will have 4 by 5 4 by 5 means this is c and this is a so alpha beta we will have c by a this formula and the second formula these are important you must know you must memorize this next question question number 45 question number 45 a circle is inscribed in a square whose length of the diagonal is 12 root 2 cm an equilateral triangle is inscribed in that circle the length of the side of the triangle is so this is square and in that square this is circle and in that circle this is triangle this triangle here the diagonal is equal to you know root 2 a which is given 12 root 2 in other words you can say side of the square root be 12 if the side is 12 then radius would be equal to 6 if the circumcenter is 6 uh, circumcenter circum radius is 6 then height would be 6 plus 3 that is 9 9 would be the height of the triangle why is because centroid will divide the median median into 2 is to 1 ratio if this portion is 6 then that will be uh, lower portion will be equal to 3 which is equal to 2 is to 1 so total height is 9 root 3 by 2 a which is the length of side the formula is very very important which is equal to root 3 by 2 a is equal to h and h we have 9 here so a is equal to 18 by root 3 you can rationalize it because the answer is given in rationalized form so that should be equal to 6 root 3 that which is a and a is the length of the triangle answer is c question number 46 a gear is 12 centimeter in diameter is turning a gear 18 centimeter in diameter when the smallest gear is at 42 revolution how many has the largest has made you can say like this so when this will have more circle you can say circumference comparatively it will have less because the the distance traveled by this would be equal to the distance traveled by this now the distance traveled by this in 42 revolution is you can say in uh, place of 2 pi r you can write here 2 pi because 2 pi would be common in both the cases or you can say pi is common in both the cases or you write pi and d pi and d which is given diameter that is 12 this is equal to 18 18 and 18 pi because this is the diameter and revolution we have to found revolution we have to found so x is equal to 28 28 revolution should be the answer answer is a 
area of the largest triangle that can be inscribed in a semicircle of radius r centimeter is this is semi center semicircle and largest triangle in this would be right angle triangle obviously this would be equal here you can say this is radius this is also radius this is also radius and you must know very important formula here that in semicircle largest triangle can be drawn and the area of that triangle would be equal to r square and if it is complete circle and there is there is a square inside that which is the largest largest uh, area or largest square in that would be equal to 2 r square so here we are looking for r square answer is b answer is a b otherwise you can also see like this this is equal to total this is base 2r you can say 1 by 2 you can write like this 1 by 2 base which is and height r that should be equal to r square you can also think in that term but that is more important that you must know this because this is very frequently asked question important question you must know triangle as well as for square in a triangle abc then sum of the exterior angle at b and c is equal to this is very important also in a triangle abc this is abc a b and c sum of the exterior angle this is exterior angle at b and c is equal to we have to find the value of this let's say this is for example 60 50 and that should be equal to 130 total so 65 and 65 then this would be equal to this if this is 65 then it should be equal to 115 and this would be 115 we have assumed that so that calculation can be easy now the question is sum of the exterior angle we have to find the value of this this is equal to 115 plus 115 that is 230 and 230 it would be equal to 180 plus 50 50 we have taken this so 150 plus bac bac 180 plus 100 this 180 plus bac so b should be the answer question number 49 if in a triangle abc and def a is equal to e 40 degree ab and ed ac and Uh, ratio a p f and f is equal to 65 then b is equal to how much now you can draw a b c a b and c you can draw like this a b c and a, d e f here a is equal to e you can write like this and which is 40 so this is 40 ab divided by ratio ed is equal to ac and ef ac and ef and here ab ed so you write here ab and that correspond to ed ac that correspond to ef ef here this is f here we have given f is equal to 65 this is 65 this is representing this so we have to find the value of b means we have to find the value of this so b would be equal to 60 plus 4 40 105 that should be 75 it means that should be 75 because this is 65 answer is c question number 50 angle a of a triangle abc is a right angle this is triangle this is a and right angle AD is perpendicular to BC. This is BC, and AD is perpendicular. This is D to BC. On BC is 14. This is perpendicular. We cannot say we cannot say this is midpoint. Midpoint because this is not midpoint. This is perpendicular. So total is 14. And BD is 5 centimeter. But BD is 5. Then this would be equal to 9. Then measure of AD would be how much? Measure of AD. We have to find the value of a 
this so remember this ad square is equal to bd and dc this and this in this case a parameter ad would be equal to 5 into 9 root in other words in other 3 root 5 should be the answer answer is a b uh, this property this important trick or you can say this uh, property you must know you must know otherwise otherwise what can you do otherwise what can you do let's say this is x this is x so this is perpendicular perpendicular 5 divided by hypotenuse now these are two b d a and b a c these are two similar triangle so perpendicular upon hypotenuse that is x here this is perpendicular x in this triangle and hypotenuse is 14 14 we will have then x square 70 x square 70 so that should be equal to root 70 that should be equal to root 70 now see from this see from this and that would be equal to that would be equal to 14 square 196 because we can find from the Pythagoras value of this AC that would be equal to 196 minus 70 that is 126 root 126 is the value of this now this is base this is base and this is you can say hypotenuse so base upon hypotenuse here in this case here in this case base upon hypotenuse so base is ad which we have to find ad hypotenuse in this case is root 70 here base 1 root 126 120 and hypotenuse that is 14 so ad would be equal to ad would be equal to 126 into 70 and you can write here divided by 14 also you can write also you can convert into you can convert 14 into 14 so that should be equal to 9 here and 5 or 3 root 5 should be the answer because 9 it will come 3 and it would be remaining 5 ad would be 3 root 5 otherwise you remember this this is very very important otherwise you can drive like this so important here is you memorize this important trick now in this presentation we have covered question from 26 to 50 in the next presentation we will cover question of this test that is 51 to 75 this is 80 test series 80 test 40 math and 40 english test series. thank you very much for watching this presentation all the best